Dreamland Burning by Jennifer Latham is a dual narrative novel about uh, present day and past day Tulsa, Oklahoma. The present day follows a young girl named Rowan who just wakes up on her first day of summer to find construction workers screaming and running because they ended up finding a skeleton in her backyard. Now this all transpires into Rowan figuring out really who she is and just how she can affect the world. The pa past day uh, narrative is about William, who is a just a kid living through all of the race wars and riots going on. And because of his skin tone, he believes that he is better than ever than people of color. So with that, he starts a conflict with the man of color, and that all transpires into a ginormous race war. Both the characters change a lot through the novel. William learns to just like people for who they are, not their skin tone. And Rowan just learns how to be her own person and not let race affect her. On to you, Alex. Yes, on to me. There's a lot of figurative language in the book Dreamline Burning by Jeff, uh, Jennifer Latham. The, uh, the, a lot of the figurative language is used in the past setting to show the differences in culture and uh, way that people speak, what it's really doing, uh, that shows the kind of more different and racist uh, uh, part of uh, history. Uh, the, this can be seen in the quote from page 196, which is, and Cleet, he made a, sh uh, he made a great show of ignoring me, standing around like a cock, like a cock of the walk, uh, is a unfamiliar, uh, use of figurative language that, uh, creates a sense of unfamiliarness that goes along with the cultural differences of the time. The key passages in this novel are a lot of uh, bookmark type uh, passages uh, that show the transition in between two different uh, periods in the book. Uh, the uh, transition in between uh, part one and part two on page 195 ha opens with the quote, I wasn't in Tulsa the day that Sarah Page screamed. It being Memorial Day, Pop didn't open the shop. He was relaxed that breakfast morning. Uh, saying how he might start teaching me to keep accounts once school let out. This quote shows the transition in between what would be uh, William's more chaotic life in part two from William's semi-calm life in part one. And on to you, Jason. There were some static characters in Dreamline Burning, and two of them are Clarence and Vernon. Clarence, first off, is a huge part of Will Tillman and his change throughout the novel, and we do not get to see Clarence change much in the book because we only see him in the first part, the beginning of the story. Um, now, Vernon, he is a character shown in all parts in the past with Will Tillman in that 1921 and he was always cocky and mad, and he was raised to hate African Americans by his racist father. Some themes in Dreamland Burning were the past thing with Will Tillman is, if you believe something is wrong, you can't just stand there. You have to do something about it and stand up for what is right and help make a change. In the present with Rowan, it is being more self-aware with your past and your family's past because it will help you be more independent and it will help you make the right decision.